very beautiful people. Betwabu, Betwabu, Siyemi, Sawafona. Happy today, beautiful people. Listen, Jackson, go ahead. Jackson wanted to get out the plate. Hey, Jackson. You want to come see the video with me today? He wants to. Here's people. Got my grandbaby here with me today. Let me just apologize ahead of time. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's up. Everybody is up. Jace woke up. I think he was up at 3 o'clock this morning running through my house. I'm like, what? What? What is that noise? Okay. He's waking up everybody. All right, y'all. Happy Saturday. It is July the 4th, 2020. Day 190. And we are reading Jeremiah 19, 20, and 21. Say hey, beautiful people. Say hey, beautiful people. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You gotta come correct in the video, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. You got milk right in your mouth. Hi. Okay. All right, beautiful people. So we got a co-host today, my grandbaby, Jackson. All right, Jackson, you gonna read? Okay, he got it. Okay, he said, get that out of his face. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get going while they're still quiet. They they halfway quiet. We are in Jeremiah nineteen and twenty and twenty one. Hold on, I'm about to send you and your nephew back in the living room. Hold on, wait a minute. Jackson's touching my face. Okay, there we go. Here, go ahead, take him back in there. Jackson's touching my face. Be careful. Sit him back in there. He was playing nice and quiet. I'll come get you in a second, baby, okay? Jackson, you need to work. All right, y'all. Jeremiah 19, 20, and 21. That's why I'm telling you, that's why I'm Hey, uh, Jace, shush, calm down a little bit. Jackson thinks you're his mom. No, he probably doesn't. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 19. Thus saith Yahuwah, go and get a potter's earthen bottle and take the ancients of the people and the ancients of the priests, meaning go grab all the old heads, all the elders, and go forth into the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is by the entry of the east gate and proclaim there the words that I shall tell thee and hear and say hear ye the word of Yahuwah O kings of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem thus saith Yahuwah of hosts the God of Israel behold I will bring evil upon this place the which whosoever heareth his ears shall tingle Oh, yeah, you got a quarantine. I read that article. It's, it's, it's getting crazy about a day, Thailand. So when you get there, you have to, um, if you go, you got a quarantine in Chicago for 14 days. You you probably got a quarantine a whole month. You're going to probably have a quarantine when you get there. And when you go back home, they might put they might put you back on quarantine. Yeah, just talk to people FaceTime, girl. All right. Verse 3. And say, Hear ye the word of Yahuwah, O kings of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus saith Yahuwah of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place, the which whosoever heareth his ears shall tingle. That's good. Stay safe. Stay at home, Talaim. <laughs> because they have forsaken me and have estranged this place and have, bur and have burned incense in it to other gods whom neither they nor their fathers have known, nor the kings of Judah, and have filled this place with the blood of the innocents. They have built also the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. Remember, he just said this before a couple chapters ago. They're burning their sons and daughters. That's the human sacrifice. He said, I commanded it not, nor spake it, neither it came into my mind. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahuwah, that this place shall no more be called Topheth, nor the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. And I will make void the counsel of Judah and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies and by the hands of them that seek their lives. And their carcasses will I give to be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Remember, that's three of the things that Yahuwah said. He said unto them, I'm giving them four things. He said, I'm giving them to sword. I'm giving them to captivity, to the sword, to the um, fowls of the air, and to the beasts of the land. You know, so 
when you go into captivity. Some of them are going to go, some of them are going to die. When you die, your body's either going to be eaten by the birds of the air or the beasts of the field. And that's what happened. And that would make this city desolate and a hissing. And a hissing. Everyone that passeth thereby shall be astonished and hissed because of all the plagues thereof. And I will cause them to eat of the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters. And they shall eat every one the flesh of his friend in the siege and straightness wherewith their, their enemies and they that seek their lives shall, shall straighten them. Of those that seek after them or hunt after them. Then thou shalt break the bottle in the sight of the men that go with thee. Remember he told him, he said, go get a bottle, a, a vessel from the potter, of the, the potters, what the potter created. Go get that. He said, then thou shalt break the bottle in the sight of the men that go with thee. And thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the who of hosts, even so will I break this people and this city as one breaketh a potter's vessel that cannot be made whole again and they shall bury them in topheth till there be no more place to bury thus will i do shush 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 go back in that pool thus will i do unto this place saith yahuwah and to the inhabitants thereof and even make this city as topheth and the houses of jerusalem and the houses of the kings of judah shall be defiled as a place of topheth because of all the houses upon whose roof they have burned incense unto all the hosts of heaven and have poured out drink offering unto other gods. Then came Jeremiah from Tophet, where the Yahuwah had sent him to prophesy, and he stood in the court of Yahuwah's house and said to all the people, Thus saith Yahuwah of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring upon this city and upon all her towns all the evil that I have pronounced against it, because they have hardened their necks, that they might not hear my words. Isaiah chapter 20. Uh -oh. Now Pasher, the son of Emmer, the priest, who was also chief governor in the house of Yahuwah, heard that Jeremiah prophesied these things. Then Pasher smote Jeremiah, the prophet, and put him in the stocks that were in the high, in the high gate of Benjamin, which was also by the house of Yahuwah. And it came to pass on the morrow that Pasher brought forth Jeremiah out of the stocks. Then said Jeremiah unto him, Yahuwah hath not called thy name Pasher, but Margo Misabib. <laughs> but Margo, Margo, yeah, Margo Misabib. For thus saith Yahuwah, behold, I will make thee a terror to thyself and to all thy friends, and they shall fall by the sword and their enemies, and thine eyes shall behold it. And I will give all Judah into the hands of the king of Babylon, and he shall carry them captive into Babylon, and shall slay them with the sword. Hold on, y'all. I gotta underline this. For thus saith he who will behold, I will make thee a terror to thyself and to all thy friends, and they shall fall by the sword of their enemies, and thine eyes shall behold it. And I will give all Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall carry them captive into Babylon, and they shall slay them with the sword. Moreover, I will deliver all the strength of this city, and all the labors thereof, and all the precious things thereof, and all the treasures of the kings of Judah, will I give into the hands of the enemies. Bella and Jace, hey, y'all quiet down for a few minutes, please. Go, go. And all the treasures of the kings of Judah will I give into the hand of their enemies, which shall spoil them and take them and carry them to Babylon. And thou, Pasher, and all that dwell in thine house shall go into captivity. And thou shalt come to Babylon, and there thou shalt die and shall be buried there. And all thy friends whom how, to whom thou hast prophesied lies. Remember? Pasher is one of them prophets that belong to the guild of prophets. The guild is like the big group, the 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 clique, you know. It's it's a group of them. They all prophesying the same thing. And he is one of them, you know, because he's prophesying to his friends, oh, everything gonna be good, peace and safety. And he got pissed with Jeremiah because Jeremiah is a proof true true prophet. The guild of prophets or the clique of prophets get pissed. When a true prophet come on the scene, and then they, they whole click get together and they try and attack the true prophet. And just listen, listen to this. 
I'll read verse 6 again. And thou, Pasher, and all that dwell in thine house shall go into captivity, and thou shalt come to Babylon, and there thou shalt die, and shalt be buried there, thou and all thy friends, to whom thou hast prophesied lies. O Yahuwah, thou hast deceived me, and I was deceived. Art thou stronger than I, and hast prevailed? I am in derision daily. Everyone mocketh me. For since I spake, I cried out, I cried violence and spoil, because of the word of Yahuwah was made a reproach unto me, and a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word, mind you, this is Jeremiah speaking. Because every time he speak, he's trying to bring correction from what Yahuwah had said. And they get pissed with him. Like, Jeremiah, shut up. We don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Now, he in jail now. Well, Pastor done pulled him up out of the stocks or whatever. Um, he's standing there talking junk to him. And Jeremiah's crying out to y'all. I'll read that again if you didn't know. At verse 7, um, he turned and he's talking to y'all. And he said, listen, he said, Every time I speak, this father's bringing me nothing but trouble. They're mocking me. And so I've decided I'm just not going to say anything else. But listen to what Jeremiah said. And we hear this particular, what he said. Um, we hear that preached a lot in the church. But his word was shut up in my bones like a fire. And he couldn't hold it, right? This is where that comes from. For since I speak, oh, verse 7. O oh, you who thou hast deceived me, and I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I, and has prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mocketh me. For since I spake, I cried out, I cried violence and spoil, because the word of Yahuwah was made a reproach unto me, and a derision daily. Hey, shush, y'all. Then I said, I would not make mention of him. Jeremiah saying, I will not make mention of Yahuwah anymore, nor speak anymore in his name. But his word in my heart was as a burning fire shut up in my bones and i was weary with forbearing and i could not stay I mean he said he tried it but he couldn't hold it in he said his words that he spoke to him it was like fire and he had to let it out he could not hold it within himself for well, i heard the defaming of many fear on every side report they say and we will report it all my familiars watch for my halting saying peradventure he will be enticed, and we shall prevail against him, and we shall take our revenge on him. Like, they constantly plotting on Jeremiah because he's speaking truth to them. Like, he's not doing anything but telling them, stop doing wickedness and live right. Do what's right. Treat people right. Y'all say, do what's right. Stop killing your sons and daughters. Stop doing this wicked thing. But they, they didn't want to hear that. They, they, they love what they did. Verse 11. But Yahuwah is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble. Help me, please. And they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. But, O you who are of hosts, that triest the righteous, and seest the reins of the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee I have opened my cause. Sing unto Yahuwah, praise ye Yahuwah, for he have delivered the soul of the poor from the hand of the evildoers. Sorry, y'all, I know they keep getting loud. They, they all in the house, they're playing with the baby out there. Uh, um, Isaiah, you, you can control your value. She, she's reading. Okay, chill. I'm almost done reading. Go, go back out there, y'all. Let's go Sing unto you. You wait, y'all better not open my front door. Who just said let's go outside? Oh, don't y'all touch my door. Sing no, unto you. I, I'm closing it. I did it. Y'all go sit down. Get out the hall. Go on back in the room. Go ahead. Take the tiny nephew with you. Okay, let me hurry up, y'all. Verse 13. Saying unto you who will praise you, you who will, for he have delivered the soul of the poor from the hand of the evildoers. Who are they doing the most? Cursed be the day wherein I was born. Let not the day wherein my mother bear me be blessed. Cursed be the man who brought tidings to my father, saying, A man child is born unto thee, making him very glad. And let that man be as the cities which Yahuwah overthrew, and repented not. And let him hear the cry in the morning, and the shouting at noontide. Because he slew me not from my womb, or that my mother might have been my grave, and her womb to be always great with me. 
Wherefore came I forth out of the womb to see labor and sorrow, that my days should be consumed with shame. And he's pretty much saying, why was I born? He said, God, because you're using me to do all these things that the people are constantly plotting against me to take my life and they hate me because they hate your words. And Jeremiah is catching the backlash of all of this stuff. All right, last chapter for today, y'all. Chapter 21 of Jeremiah. 14 verses. Uh, Bella, no, no, don't. Okay, you you okay. The word came unto Jeremiah from Yahuwah, when King Zedekiah sent unto him Pasher, the son of Melchiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Messiah, the priest, saying, Inquire, I pray thee, of Yahuwah for us, for Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, maketh war against us, if it be so that Yahuwah will deal with us accordingly to all his wondrous works, that he may go up from us. Then Jeremiah said unto them, Thus shall you say unto Zedekiah, Thus saith Yahuwah, the God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, wherewith ye fight against the king of Babylon and against the Chaldeans, which besiege you without the walls, and I will assemble them into the midst of this city. And I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm, even in anger and in fury and in great wrath. And I will smite the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast, and they shall die of a great pestilence. And afterwards said to who I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Ju Judah, and his servants and the people, and such as are left in this city, from the pestilence, from the sword, and from the famine, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those that seek their life. And he shall smite them with the edge of the sword. He shall not spare them, neither have pity, nor have mercy. And unto this people thou shalt say, Thus saith Yahuwah, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. He that abideth in this city shall die by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. But he that goeth out and falleth to the Chaldeans that besiege you, he shall live, and his life shall be unto him for a prey. For I have set my face against this city for evil and not for good, saith Yahuwah. And it shall be given into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. And touching the house of the king of Judah, say, Hear ye the word of Yahuwah, O house of David. Thus saith Yahuwah, Execute judgment in the morning, and deliver him that is spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor. Lest my fury go out like fire, and burn that none can quench it, because of the evil of your doings. Behold, I am against thee, O inhabitant of the valley, and rock of the plain, saith Yahuwah, which say, Who shall come down against us, or who shall enter into our habitations? But I will punish you according to the fruit of your doing, saith Yahuwah, and I will kindle a fire in the forest thereof, and it shall devour all things round about it. And that, my beautiful people, is our reading for today. I know we start right in the middle of what y'all was saying and what's about to happen, and Pastor about to get real smart. But we'll see that um, when we pick up the reading on Monday because, you know, we rest tomorrow. Because what the Sabbath this month falls on all the Sundays because the new moon came on a Sunday. So the new, the, the new moon and the Sabbaths line up. So when the new moon comes, the next day begins the day count because the next day. Sorry, Sorry y'all. <sighs> they gave him a piece of pizza. From last night he can eat this boy can he can eat a whole slice of pizza y'all um but i heard him cough but i thought he was choking so i sorry i just i see you coming around the corner okay so um but we'll we'll get to that um uh, that portion of the reading monday like i was saying the sabbath this month fall on sunday but the next new moon matter of fact we're at the 15th day today it's a full moon it looked full last night but it wasn't quite full it's a when, we, when it comes out tonight, we'll see it at 100%. You know, so um, it's the 15th day of the month, um, according to how Yahuwah reckons time. So, um, next month, when we have the new moon, the new moon will actually fall on Tuesdays because the new moon will be on a Tuesday, you know. So, all right, beautiful people. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the reading today. It is Saturday, June 4th, 2020, day 190, and we read Jeremiah 19, 20, and 21. 
Let's go ahead and read the blessing found in Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 through 24. And Yahuwah spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, May Yahuwah bless us and keep us. May Yahuwah make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May Yahuwah lift up his countenance upon us and give us his peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. All right, beautiful people, I love you, and I will see you bright and early Monday morning. 7.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Peace.